what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Buried under the pile of news stories about the Charlottesville, Virginia crisis involving white supremacists that has dominated the headlines since Saturday is another story involving a crisis that developed Saturday. But this one has a good spin on it. On Saturday, Bruno Mars performed to a sold-out crowd at the Palace of Auburn Hills in Michigan. And after the show, the 24-karat magic singer announced his donation of $1 million to help with the water crisis in Flint, Michigan. Bruno told the crowd that he and the show's promoter Live Nation would be donating the concert's proceeds to support Flint, the Los Angeles Times reports. I'm very grateful to the Michigan audience for joining me in supporting this cause. Ongoing challenges remain years later for Flint residents, and it's important that we don't forget our brothers and sisters affected by this disaster. As people, especially as Americans, we need to stand together to make sure something like this never happens in any community ever again. Bruno's donation will go to the Community Foundation of Greater Flint, a public charity for the city. Now, this isn't the first time that Bruno has done something like this. In 2014, this dude donated $100,000 to Typhoon Haiyan victims in the Philippines. Cool dude, good dude. I know a lot of times we hear stories about high profile people and celebrities doing all kinds of scandalous things. And it's easy to really just look down on somebody who seems to have it all because, hell, man, it ain't no cakewalk out here trying to get yours. So when we see people that have just so much, sometimes it can give you a little sour grapes, but. I like to see dudes like that win. In fact, I've, I've been a fan of Bruno's for a long time anyway. I like dude's energy. I like his dedication to his craft. He come from humble beginnings and from everything that I know about him, never met him before, but the people that I do know that know him say he's a really good dude and he takes care of his people. So I like that about him. And I know a number of other celebrities that are like that. Tech Nine is that type of dude. You know, he really, really takes care of his people. LeBron is that type of person. Take care of his people. So salute to him and salute to anybody out there that's, that's giving back, period. And you ain't got to you know, come from humble beginnings to actually give back. I mean, we all, no matter where we come from, we didn't get to where we are by ourselves. Whatever trappings that we have in life, whatever money that we have, it came from somebody. <laughs> so, you know, it's always cool to just, you know, pay a little respect and you know, do your part to help out your fellow citizens, do your part to give back to those who might need a hand up, not a hand out. So that's what I'm promoting. I appreciate that. So big shout out to Bruno Mars, and anybody else that's giving back. And you don't have to be wealthy to give back. You don't have to be sitting on a lot of money to give back. You can give back by being a volunteer. You can give back by offering your skills. You can donate your time to charitable organizations. So there's a number of ways to give back. And I really do believe that all of us are actually here to be servants, to serve others. We're really not here for us. I know it seems crazy to say something like that, but what purpose would your life have is if, if the only thing that you were here for is yourself, if you were just here to get what you could get and then all you did is came into the world, had fun, made babies, partied and died. That's it. So salute to Bruno Mars. Y'all drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order,